What is up, risk takers? Welcome to the Kill Pete Strategy. I am Pete. I am a top player in the game of Risk Global Domination. I have a daily release strategy, uh, daily re release schedule on YouTube, and I stream on Twitch almost as often. You can check my page for the upcoming schedule. If you are interested in getting better at the game of Risk, I invite you to subscribe to my channel and come along the ride with me. For today's episode, we are playing Fixed Caps on Europe Advanced with Alliances. Fog and Blizzards are on. And I'm in the second position. So as soon as my old buddy Norton Nassenbor goes, I will have to choose my cap. So I'm going to want to see who's going to let me pick a cap in a spot. That would be most advantageous. Let's see, what caps do I like? Okay, Magenta goes in. Okay, this cap doesn't actually block. So those blizzards are nuts. This, okay, that cap blocks off. I see what he's done. So he wants to get France, England, Iceland. That's a great cap. Um, so I either want to not be in his way Or I do. No one else is allying me. No one else wants me to see more of the board. And we're doing this one live on Twitch in front of 159 of my good friends. Thank you so much uh, for the subs there. Okay. I mean, I think starting here is fine. Take the Spain position and we'll go from there. Now red wants to be my ally because red wants to see what I can see. Okay, and holy fucking shit, look at all these gift subs. Thank you. Thank you so much, Dato. And thank you, Carter. You guys are killers. I appreciate the support, truly. Um, You guys really do keep me going. Thank you. I think we can have to find a spot for Pete. Oh, that mic is going to get nice and in the way, isn't it? Okay, that's how we'll frame the shot for this one. Ooh, red puts a cap next to mine. Looks like me and red are going to fight. Oh, no. Okay, my cap is buried. Hmm. And black goes behind magenta. So nobody's on this side of the board? Too bad. I would have put a cap in Russia then. Okay, well, this is all good to know. It's all good to know in hindsight, I suppose. I'll have a very strong Spain position. Hope to maintain an exterior for as long as possible. And then as long as I don't involve myself here, green and red will fight each other is the hope, at least. All right, so... I'm waiting for the uh, Risk Legends round four game, which is coming up in an hour and a half's time. So right now we're just hanging on, hanging out on Twitch, doing a little bit of pre-show, and Blue decides to involve. So nobody's on this side of the board at all. Okay, that's good to know. After my first turn, where I take Spain, I'm going to be able to hopefully work on the Russia position. Who can see what I'm seeing? Blue can see what I'm seeing. Red can see what I'm seeing. The Russia position is possible. Magenta is over attacking. Oh, they want that bonus. Right on. Right on, right on. Okay. Thank you, Chad, for the support. 240 gift subs in the channel. Thank you, bro. Wow. Will you be my legend, Pete? Yes, Hidesung. Yes, I can. But just for you. Thank you, Million, for the bits. I appreciate you guys. Thank you so, so much. Jado, you're a killer. I love it. All right. My first turn begins. I think I have an easy first turn where I just take this really strong and I get my... Oh, man, Black had it, too. I kind of stole it from Black. Well, that's fine. I'd much rather Black be over here and hollow out France. 
and then we are no longer in each other's spheres of influence. I will be generating plus two and plus four, so that's an additional six troops from having Spain. I think now I want to work on a second position. That's how we'll be doing it. Okay. Heitzong, you have your game coming up as well. So I'm in the first group. Heitzong is in the second group. Yeah, at 1900. Awesome. Well, good luck, sir. Good luck, good luck. I hope to see you in uh, round five, just like last season when we competed. I think it was round five, if I recall. Hey, JK. Thank you, bro. Thank you, thank you. All right, where's green at? Green decides not to go for the Africa position. Ah, he goes for the Balkans. He moves in. Yeah, I think this is going to be a green v. red situation. I'm going to try and take Russia. So Russia is, if I hollow this out, Russia is a one, two, three point hold for a plus seven. So that's the next part of the board I'm going to work on. But how aggressively can I not defend my cap is the question. I think I want as many people out of here as possible. Yep. We expected Black's first turn to be very obvious, but Black is going to have a problem with Blue's cap in between them. I don't know what Blue was thinking. Blue's dead. Sandwich between these two caps. That was a terrible, terrible place to put his cap, in my opinion. But hey, prove me wrong. Maybe I don't know what I'm talking about. And these are some wild blizzards, eh? Spain completely disconnected from France. You have to go all the way around the map. <laughs> these are as far away from each other as possible. All right, so blue is going to work on the middle of the map, leaving his cap weak. Yeah, what puts an, a single extra troop on there. Okay, so I don't want black on this side of the board, I think. Black has a bonus. Who else has a bonus? Nobody, right? So I think I knock off Black's three. I try and actually hollow out this entire pocket unless Magenta interrupts me and starts going this way. Magenta is in a bit of a sitch. Yeah, it looks like he goes there. Did he hold? He does have a bonus. Yeah, he gets plus three. Started with eight troops. Well... Let's see if me and Magenta can come to an understanding on this front. Oh, I'll play my turn. Someone is at the door. I think I just want to clean the pocket. Give Black a chance. All right, I figure we can work on some of the Q&A questions now. How much attention do I have to pay this game? Green's going to hollow out all of the Orient, right? I'm still not abutting them. They use bad pathing. Yeah, someone's going to have to invade green. Caesar LED, thank you for the prime, sir. Thank you, thank you. Holy shit. JK, thank you for the bits. You guys, man. You guys, I, I, I'm so grateful for the support this morning. This is wild. This is absolutely wild. Look at this. Wow. Thank you so much, guys. Yeah, they're just throw they're throwing me bits. Ah, uh, and he finds Blue's cap. What does he do about that? Punches right through it. 
thinks about it. Ah, we're doing some slow rolls. He's going to be very unhappy to find Magenta's cap on the other side of that, though. Yeah, this is an okay thing to have happen now. Blue's fucked. Okay, Black doesn't actually need to rush, but he's going to want to spend all his material there, which means maybe I snag Russia in the clutch. I'd rather be thrown titties, not bitties. Of course. And blue, because they hold a bonus. Still involving himself in that quagmire. Okay. Does Magenta decide? Because Magenta saw black slow rolling blue's cap. Does Magenta decide to hit on the other side? Magenta's just going to get a card, an easy card elsewhere. Right? Yeah, he's, he finds my cap. Cool. This is good. This is good. Okay. So I intentionally don't break um, magenta. And I'm also going to do a little bit of interior guarding so that if anyone gets the bright idea to break me, I'm stronger than I appear. So now I'm holding the plus four, plus seven, and a single cap. Now we're going to see red try to take over North Africa. My default plan is to be a good neighbor for as much as possible. Up to and included when I get interrupted. But green is going to be super, super strong. Yeah, 15. So as long as green doesn't fuck me. Should be okay. But my prediction that green was going to start a war with red didn't occur. Maybe it starts now. So we have a strong cap. Cap starts getting takes. He also would like to explore, perhaps. Who's in Spain? It's me. I'm in Spain. Yes gonna find red's cap here green is an, a very aggressive player i like that yeah doesn't open doesn't open red's cap cool green wants to finish orient bonus he's gonna break it eventually well he can try okay black takes iceland doesn't Break blue, or doesn't take blue's cap. Blue holding this middle is strange. I think blue's in a big, big, hard trouble. I think they die first. I don't think magenta hits me this way, but they are running out of options, so maybe they do. Black is going to open, or uh, blue is going to open black's cap. The fact that half of these people uh, didn't ally me up means I have to pay a lot more attention. Okay. And we go to the third turn. Caps mode is active. I don't have a set. Ooh, Magenta would like to hit blue now. No, they're just getting easy takes and, and having a really strong cap. That's great. That's fine by me. Okay. And I start with 18 a turn. So one, one, two. One, one, two. Um, this is going to expand out. With soft guards exterior, harder guards interior. It's a variation on the uh, inverse pyramid scheme I came up for, fixed caps and fog. Blue and red can see what I'm doing because they're my allies. 
green, and magenta and black cannot. Okay. Now we will try and do some Q&A. So, starting with the KPS priority Q&A questions. Um... Truth Powers asks, what is your most beloved childhood memory? Um, Fionn asked this, and I gave an answer, so I can give a different answer. Um, think of a beloved child. I, I remember playing at the park with my mother. Um, I would have been three, maybe four, maybe five years old, and we had a park. So my house backed onto a school. And so we had the school and then a public park next to the school and there's a playground on it. And you guys might imagine I spent a lot of time on that playground and just spending time with my mother. Um, she just encouraged me to, to play and enjoy myself however I saw fit, which was um, really special to me. It meant a lot. Um, I'm grateful for all the time I had to spend with my mother and... I probably should see her more given that. So you're reminding me to, to call my mom and just say hello and remind her that I'm thinking of her and that I love her. Um, it's a great question. Okay. Uh, Captain Tony would like to know, Hey Pete, I've been catching up on your backlog of YouTube videos before I start watching you live, but I'm enjoying seeing your progression methodology and topics discussed during your YouTube videos in a game where blizzards create a one way in one way out scenario. And you've captured this early game. This three continent Australia seems like a perfect point to hold. I right, three territories, two capitals, easy because of it. Then out of nowhere, Magenta busted through red and black's attack points. And my point guard literally drilled through my entire ter territories to sit in the back nest of the blizzards that I created for me. I'm losing it. I'm losing the story. You got to be more succinct. Uh, from this point on, they nuked me and I got second. Oh, I get it. So he takes a, a dead end f through blizzards and he gets nuked in. Wondering based on this context, when uh, when three continents are blocked off, and now I strengthen this and I don't expand. So one, one, two. One. Cool. This is good. Yep. Happy with that opener. Okay. Um... Wanted to base off this context when three continents are all blocked off by two perfect blizzards. Should you try and hold that zone with a massive one point guard or two or ditch and go for harder to defend? It really depends on what your opponents are up to. I see, I see the question. So this game, what I'm doing is I'm, I have a softer guard exterior, which is a tell and then a stronger guard interior. So when I eventually get broken, hopefully I can reciprocate. I'm in a really good position right now, but so is green. So I think we do eventually see green start to fight with red. Thank you, I love Emma for the prime sub and thank you, the Raptor 3535. Thank you for the support, folks. Um, yeah, it depends on what your opponents do. Like, You really have to predict where they are and what they're going to go for. And the better you can predict them, the better you'll do. Okay. Hunter4525 would like to know, Pete, in your opinion, what constitutes an expert? I think most people would agree that you are an expert in the game of Risk as someone who would be an expert in Roman literature, et cetera, et cetera. No specific topic in mind, just anything. Okay. So what Hunter is asking about is the concept of mastery. 
Um, so how do we become a master at something and what does being a master mean? I think the I think one of the most one of the hallmarks of mastery is the idea that ooh blues toast one of the hallmarks of mastery is the idea that you are a constant student of the craft or the art um or black just setting himself up for magenta to swoop in so black's going to hit this Blue's fucked. Yeah, a lucky set though. Ooh, does he hit the cap? He does. He does. Blue and black are both in trouble. Magenta's gonna benefit from this. Magenta's gonna benefit from this. Okay. How do I how do I solve that? So black's dead, blue's dead. Magenta goes next. All right. Comes in. 40 stack. Clean, cleans the whole pocket. What's going to be left? Okay. Not much. Not much. Black quits. Yes, 27. Okay, how much off the how much off the blue cap? 8. Okay, 17. It's not, I'm not going to I'm not going to be able to clean this. I don't think I start a war with them. What's that one point going to be? Black dies. They don't get a set. We get 18. Is it worth it for me to piss off Magenta? I think the answer is no. Red says attack pink. I think I just take the kill on blue. Okay. I think I just take the kill on blue. We're now in four. Four player game. So the path to, what the path to mastery looks like is you are a constant humble student of your craft. You're always walking the path. You never expect to get there. But getting there isn't really the point. Um, it's more about the journey than the destination. And if you maintain humility to learn, to never pretend like you have the answer, you will be better off for it. That's what it means to be an expert, to confidently know what you're talking about, but still be humble to know that you don't know everything and you never will. That's the short answer of that. Hey, dudes in the chat. Good luck today, dude. Thank you, Jado, for the gift subs, bro. Thank you so much. Fantastic. Okay. Um, Truth Powers would like to know, what are a few things you think are true, but try to ignore? Ooh, okay. Green's going to break me now. This is bad. No. Okay, good. Good. Green goes around me. They're going to break magenta? They just did a little fact finding. They are going to break magenta. Okay, they're going to open magenta's cap. I don't know how many troops are up there. I've tried my best not to antagonize. Yeah, you can't get into Russia, dude. <laughs> you can't get into Russia. Right, 19 a turn. So I'm getting the same as them. And I'm stronger because I didn't have to fight that fight. I'm still in a good place. And they set. Now do they try and break me? After I've been good to them. 
think they just reconstitute Scandinavia. Yes, they do break me. No, good. Well done. I like Magenta's game a lot. Okay, so they're going to get 18 plus the 3. 19, 20, 21. If I hold this, I get the same. Yeah. Thing is, that's going to scare the shit out of people. So we want to put, I think, 40 on my cap. And... Just indicate that I would like to hold it, but all of my actual guarding will be... No, you know what? All my actual guarding should be stacking, I think. I right, make sure not to break a bonus of green. There we are. That's good. I like that a lot. Uh, what are a few things I think are true, but try to ignore the thing that comes to mind is I fear that we are unworthy of ourselves. So this might stem from my own deep seated sort of vestigial self-hatred coming from an earlier version of my life where I didn't love myself. Um, and the fear was that I was somehow not good enough. I didn't deserve to be so. Extending that out to all humanity, um, the source of the fear seems to be something like human beings are destroying the planet. Well, we certainly aren't doing a great job of our stewardship. Does that logically entail that we are unworthy? Ooh, okay. Green goes bad neighbor to red. So things are happening. I'm pretty sure I'm in the lead in terms of troops, but uh, Magenta will catch up quick. I think Magenta's smart enough not to go bad neighbor with me. I think I just slowly expand into this Eastern Europe section of the board now. So yeah, that's the thing I think is true, but try to ignore. I think um, my fear that we are unworthy of our abilities as humans, right? We exist in some sort of quasi um, nonsense zone between the ability to create our own, the, the means of our own destruction. Um, and that's kind of scary, but... My hope is that we transcend that. We transcend our own abilities to destroy ourselves and we use our abilities to create instead. That's the optimism. All right. Parlox has a question from Centauri. Why haven't you been streaming as much as you used to? If it's personal, no worries. I think you're working extremely hard. I am working extremely hard. I don't mind working extremely hard. Um, I'm going through a lot in my life, in my personal life. So I'm trying to reconstitute um, my financial well-being as an individual man as opposed to a partnership um and part of that i have to i've been working to set up my winter business i've been working to set up a much higher quality stream for you all so i got a new mic i got a new pc i got a roadcaster stream deck everything looks really good i hope everything sounds really good and i hope that the quality of the show will help um propel it to whatever the next level is oh don't hit me though Come on, green. That's fine. I can trade. Uh, I can trade off Eastern Europe for that bonus if he wants it. I don't need to instigate. Oh, he thinks I'm soft. I'm not soft. <laughs> he thinks I'm soft. All right, and that's why you have impenetrable plugs on your true bonuses. Okay. I don't think Magenta involves himself. I think Magenta plays really, really slowly and carefully. They've been playing a great game. Ooh, no. Okay, they do involve themselves. They're going to break some green. Are they taking Germany? Yes, Magenta takes Germany. Excellent. All right, now I pop out of here and the guard is not soft.
Hey, E.T., thank you for the raid, man. How you been? What is up, E.T.? Yep, that's all I need to know. You know what? Fuck you. Don't break my shit. See how badly he wants in. Green seems to be the instigator. I'm just going to get another cup of coffee. All right, Green says, I would like to give the game to Magenta. All right, he's going to sit there. He's going to let me take it all back, right? Let's see how he plays it. Yes. Okay. So if I don't break Orient, that's a friendly move to Green. Let's see if he takes Well, he's Lebanese, though. Ah, that Lebanon flag. Ugh. Yeah, and, and Magenta's just going to expand, right? Magenta is just going to expand. Green's pissing everyone off. I'm hoping Magenta's moving down. I have to be soft to Magenta for the moment. And we'll see if that pays. Okay, Magenta's in there. Do I give Green the extra troops? No. Fuck you. Die. Fuck you. Good. I hope Magenta likes that. All right. Oh, so, uh, so Chad is mentioning the concern of the Lebanon flag. So my... Uh, the pattern I'm recognizing with Middle Eastern players is they are extremely unwilling to tolerate being broken. They're, uh, forgiveness. That's the thing with Middle Eastern flags. So uh, UAE, Kuwait, uh, Jordan, uh, Lebanon, you find they once they instigate and then once retaliated on, they never forgive. That is the pattern I'm recognizing on. Yeah, see? What did I say? Yes, so green's just gonna pummel me. And yes, lovely. They're gonna give me and um, magenta cards, but magenta's in a better sitch, so magenta has to do more of the heavy lifting there. Yeah. And it's not, uh, it's not racist to talk about differences in people because there happens to be differences in people. What makes talking about differences in people racist is describing those differences as superior or inferior. There I said it. <laughs> Guys. Okay, I'm nice and tucked away behind Red. Red and I have the, Red and I have the best relationship in this game. I'm just going to brick this up. Slowly. Where 
Red has no reason to fuck with me. Yeah. Okay. Um, I think that is the end of the priority Q&A questions. So I would love to know... That the last time I commented. This is where we start the next Q and A. Was that with Kitty's comment? Is that the one? Yes, I think it is. All right. So Kitty commented this two weeks ago. I'm getting behind on these Q and A's. It's a good thing we have another full hour. Hopefully, this game lasts. Um, dear Pete, I know you used to professionally touch grass. Please tell me what I can do to become just like you and one day touch grass myself. Love indoor girl 69. Um, I am a professional grass cutter 20 years running. Um, I'm really, really looking forward to doing things in my life that involve my mind and my words. See green is just in revenge mode now forever. No forgiveness, only violence. Yeah, we're going to lock Green out. We're going to kind of choke him out. Prevent him from being able to do anything meaningfully. I think Magenta hits here. And he breaks for me. Perfect. He breaks for me. Yeah, Magenta's doing the damage now. That's what I wanted to see. Okay, so if I do this, and I do this, I think I hold that. And then I think I keep parity with Magenta's generation. And then we probably go to war at some point, but that's okay. Red has caught up by not instigating. I think I need to start stacking on my cap again because it's weak. Um, I know you like plants, Kitty, so... You're not that far away from touching grass. Just go outside a little bit and it'll uh, it'll all sort itself out for you. Okay, Parlux would like to know, what is the single event that you regret most in your life? Wow. So I you guys might laugh. I used to think I had an answer for this question. Um, so we'll start with what my answer used to be. My answer used to be that... My biggest regret was not getting into organized sports like everybody else because fitting in is a very important thing um, for an adolescent to do for their socialization. As I have grown up, more and more I honor my struggles. He sets and hits me. He doesn't know what to do. The noose is tightening. The noose is tightening. What did he get for his turn? 10? Yeah. 41, he's going to hit me. Twenty-five? Man, this guy. So... Just, just for everyone who, who said that my noticing the Lebanon flag was racist, um, the pattern I have been recognizing with Middle Eastern flags has been borne out in this game. Which is why I talk about it. Because my job as a player of a psychology game is to try and predict my opponent's behavior. I think Magenta just reconstitutes, right? Yeah, Magenta just reconstitutes. And breaks, cool. Okay, this is fine. I really should put a few more troops on my cap. Yeah, now he's taking a look. Move that 20. Thank you. Ah.
I think he tried to move the 20 and just ran out of time. So my answer to regret, regrets now is I have to own my past because, and I have to honor it because it made me into the man I am today. And, I, and I'm a man I am proud to be. I'm a man I love. So the, the struggle of that um, is something I'm happy to have borne because I'm here. So I no longer think of regrets. The word doesn't mean anything. I don't spend any time dwelling in the past and regretting what I could have done differently. I played the hand I was dealt. Here we are. Green comes penetrating with another army. I'm not expecting to hold this. Maybe he breaks magenta. Yeah. Yes. Excellent. Green gets fourth. Okay. Um, TES Brackets Dan would like to know, Hey dude, really loving your content. Your YouTube got me into the online game and now I'm playing my first tournament. Not doing very well so far, but having a ton of fun. Isn't that the point? Question. I'm noticing the real, the rewilding of lawns is coming up a lot more on different internet platforms. Have you noticed this in your business? And what are your thoughts, pros and cons to it from a professional slash environmental point of view? Sure. So I always knew my days were numbered um, as far as property maintenance goes. The robot lawnmower, the Roomba of grass, um, we see it. Yes, he moves it. Yes, thank you. Thank you. Um, can strengthen that. Give green a turn to hit. You want to be allies now? All right, I'll give you, I'll give you a shot to not break me. <laughs> not super confident. But I'll give you a shot, I guess. Let's watch him fucking break me. The real wilding is probably a good thing from an environmental point of view. So long-term, um, we need to take care of our environment better. And we're not doing a good job of it. Um, human beings seem to be really bad at long-term planning. <laughs> like at the scale of generations. So we can take care of our own lives reasonably well. But as far as trends that happen so slowly, like when I was a kid... You know, versus today, the environment has changed, undoubtedly. Um, and yeah, to some extent, climate is always in flux. But um, I've I've always been shocked that we tend to build cities on our most productive land. Now he instigates with red. What is wrong with this guy? Suicides into red and quits. Okay. Well, who gets the free cap? Pink. Fuck. Damn it. Now pink gets the second cap. God damn it. Unless they're not allies. In which case, I get it. Oh, I get it. Okay, I'll take it. Sick. Sure. think pink takes Russia. So I put the 19 in Orient so that when pink, pink inevitably breaks me, they think twice about taking this bonus, which is what I actually want now. I want to position myself slightly differently and force uh, the red player to take some involvement in the game. 
It was very satisfying to kill Green too. I must say that was that was extremely satisfying. Yes, this is fixed caps. Red does next to nothing. Yeah, Red playing very consistently doing next to nothing. I wonder if um, Magenta can see what Red sees. Because Magenta can't see what I see. And if he lets me hold half the board, that's probably not good. Yeah, he breaks Russia. Does he break Eastern Europe too? Or is it just a soft guard? He doesn't know I've repositioned. He breaks Russia. Okay, that's fine. And Eastern Europe? Yes. Tries to. Goes bad neighbor. Oh, he tries to hit me super hard. He's going to give the game to red. All right, now I have to see if I can negotiate. Attack pink, yes, no. I need you. What say you, sir? No response. No response is absolutely a response. I think I waited too long to think there. Red needs to work with me. Or else pink just wins. Cause like I can cap stack too, right? Hmm. Well, without red, I can't beat pink. They have the superior position. I'm trying to think about how I could beat pink. But the only way that does it is gives the game to red. I think it's too late. I think pink wins this game. Still getting 25 a turn is fine. Let's beat red, okay? I choose not to hit this. I choose not to hit this. So I can cost magenta eight troops right now. Should I? I think I should, but I'm gonna see if they wanna work with me to hit red. It's the only hope, right? You need someone on your side. He sees that I could have broken him, and I choose not to. 
Panties would like to know, hey, Pete, I'm once again wondering if you know about D's. D's what, panties? <laughs> First time catching you live. Love the YouTube videos. Welcome. Welcome to the game. Yeah, Red just going to wait. D's needs. All right. <laughs> Let's see if Magenta hits me. Give the game to Red. So tough. Tough being in the middle. Okay. Um, the next question is, he does. He breaks all of me. Yes. Yes. Okay. Yeah, but you bet. I will accept, but you better hit him. But you actually have to hit him. <laughs> like, if you don't hit him, I'm going to fucking suicide into you. <laughs> you actually have to hit him. Let's see if red hits him. You need to hit him. I will not tolerate you not hitting him. That goes there. That goes up here. Okay. Hit him. Good. It takes a bonus. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Guards me. So pink's going to break me this way. Hmm. I keep orient. No, I don't, because he hits that. Right. Red now has advantage. Got to do a bunch of cap stacking, I think. Mm-hmm. Doesn't really have... No, I keep the 40 there, I think. Okay. Red has 20 troops on me. Exciting game. This is really exciting. Yeah, Red is laughing all the way. No, I don't think Pink has seen uh, me at all this game. I don't think he ever accepted my alliance request. Oh, 
Oh, I don't need any backseating in my game. Thanks, panties. I'm not remotely concerned about what you guys' opinion of how I should play this is. But thanks. <laughs> um, all right, back to the Q&A. Fuck you, chat. No, I didn't say that. <laughs> I just want to I want to make my own mistakes, right? That's all. I want to learn I want to learn the hard way. I want to make my own mistakes. Come all the way around. I think pink is now more or less on the ropes. Breaks Russia. Has enough to get into the Orient bonus. I'm holding a ton of the board so I can retake. I go first and second with red. Sick. Cool. Let's lock him out. Red just takes a stack here. Pink can't take cards. He's card blocked. Come on. Lock him out. Red sees it. I know Red sees it. He's going to move the stack this way. Good. Gonna let pink take cards? Oh, he's gonna let pink get in on me still. Huh. Okay. Red is not a good ally. He's not happy with an equal advantage. He wants an even better advantage. He's going to let him keep hitting me. Just car block this guy. Yes, stay there. Let's end this game. Well played. Hey, glad we have set this lock up now. Gonna let, gonna let pink hit me. I don't think pink will though. Yes. Thank <laughs> you. 
in decent advantage on red now. Red's going to have to hit me with that 104. Spicy fucking game. I'm liking that. Yeah, it's time for red to go ham. Correct. Time for red to go ham. <laughs> Let Pete gargle balls on his own. <laughs> Red opens pink's cap. Yeah, that could be an option. Or red bots. Well, that's why I put inactive bots. So playing, um, um, playing fixed, I want an inactive. Yes, he quits. Excellent. Excellent. I win. Fuck yeah. Well, GG. Now I reblock pink? Yeah, I think so. And then start to work on red. Because red quit. So pink gets second. Red's back. Oh. Scumbag bought out a strat. Everybody watch out for Odie the Fist 25. He's a scumbag. Sorry, just make sure you see his name. See that? See that? Odie the Fist bots out. Wait, is that not? That's violation of fair play, isn't it, guys? What is the, um, what are the fair play rules regarding that? Which one is it? It's um, it's one of them. I don't know. I mean, a lot of people are going to see this video. So he could just say he went to the bathroom and timed out. It's not bannable? I think it is. I think um, there's, there's something in the fair play rules that's violating our disconnection reconnection policy. Right? Whatever, it doesn't fucking matter. Now I'm at war with this guy. If you guys say it's not bannable in chat, then I will, I will take your word for it. But red is most definitely getting third now. Scum would never bought out and come back. It would if it was. Um, no, it would if it was um, neutral. Oh, I'm going to hit that fucking stack. You know I'm going to, baby. Oh no, all my bonuses. But those are all my bonuses. Whatever 
will I do? Pink is thinking, bend me over. No, I got to build up a bit. I got to build up a bit. Yeah, I keep struggling. You get third. Now red actually quits. In fix, pink may be okay. He's building a stack up. Exactly. I don't want to open the cap until I have a very strong... And if he ever fortifies, I know he's coming in. Red's getting disoriented. Nice. Well done. Very, very well done. And red quit a second time. Now he actually flagged. I see. Now he actually flagged. Got it. Good. That is a surrender. He is now meaningless. Good. I can use him to take cards for a while. Pleased with the outcome of this game. I think I played it very well. I'm happy with my uh, really strong generative position and a really strong external. I'm happy with how the war with green went. I wish I got a little more of the Q&A done. And we are 20 minutes until the Risk Legends Round 4 game. It's going to be a fun one. Yeah, I'm going to stay on stream. It's going to fortify a stack? No. You don't get to hit me ever. <laughs> you don't get to hit me ever again. <laughs> I'm just going to make sure red dies first. I'm going to give pink second. Don't worry, buddy. I'm giving you second place. That's why. Red already has third. You don't have to kill him? Oh, yeah? I should know that because it's important. Tell me why. White flag means he's third locked? That's great. That is good to know. I'll leave like 100 troops on that cap. Maybe 69. Nah, I should leave like 
Ah, uh, he because he can't move them out that quick. There. This is GGLP. Hey, PBT, thank you for the prime sub. Thank you, thank you. Flag equals third guaranteed. Good to know. How much do you think is on that cap? Thousand? Four twenty. <laughs> well, it's we'll find out. Three hundred and fifty-four. We're guessing. You guys want to do a uh, channel point um, bet? Someone want to do a a bet over under on uh, how much he's got on his cap? Not going to be much more than four fifty. Yeah, how many turns from now? Well, that's the thing, right? I got to know. He's just waiting for me to fuck up and open it too early. Yeah, Magenta would love to not be in this situation. This isn't stalling. <laughs> this is so for folks that don't understand what's happening right now, because you might be new to caps. Um, Magenta player has been putting twenty a turn on this position for twenty-ish turns, so that cap's going to be quite large. I need to have a confidence that I have more than two, two and a half times the size to take it. Otherwise, I risk losing the game, and I'm certainly not going to do that. Do we have a bot out? No. Is there any danger to opening the cap to check it and leave my stack there? Yeah, there is. There is, I don't actually have a ton of material on these caps, so I don't want him to be able to retaliate. At least this way, if he moves the stack out, I get to see it and I can parry that over a fortify. I can fortify to a cap or I can fortify to the other guard. Yeah, yeah, I'm pretty sure I got it. And he definitely has way more than 300, I think. I think he's probably going to be around 500 when I open it. He's also running his clock, making for interesting television. You don't think he's 500? Yeah, I guess I could keep doing Q&A. I could also fill up my coffee if he's going to waste my time. I guess we can go back to the uh, the Q&A. Okay. Where were we? Uh, we're talking about regrets. Uh, 
uh, Tez Dan would like to know, hey dude, really loving your content. Your YouTube got me into online game and now I'm playing my first tournament. Oh no, we had that. We had that. We're talking about rewilding of lawns. Yeah, I think um, I think lawns are decorative and wasteful and I think we should grow crops on our arable land <laughs> when possible. I know, bold idea. Two meter Peter would like to know, hey Pete, did you do the 16 personalities test? What type are you? This is Myers-Briggs. So I'm ENTJ. Um, EN is extrovert, um, intuitive, thinking, judging. Uh, Myers-Briggs Myers -Briggs is considered to be uh, pseudoscientific compared to um, something like Big Five. So take take it as, as you would a horoscope. Um, lol, what a waste of time. Indeed, indeed. Um, I like my, I like ocean. I like Big Five. <coughs> Better openness, conscientiousness, agreeable agreeableness, uh, neuroticism, openness, conscientiousness, agreeableness, extroversion, neuroticism. I think I'm going to waste this guy's time too. If he's going to waste mine, we have uh, we have 12 minutes until the game. No, I. If you can't beat him, join him. That's not really my style. Let this guy stall if he'd like to stall. Okay. Um, yo, Pete, good luck in your Legends game today, my friend. Thank you, Escape. Thank you, thank you. I'm going to play my best, and we will see how it goes. All right. Um, Kevin would like to know, hey, Pete, immensely grateful for your content and perspective on life and games. I'm grateful for you. Thank you for watching. Um, how good should someone get focusing on a specific format before looking to try out others, a.k.a. Zombies and Caps? However good you want, man. This is your game to play. People ask this question a lot. It's like, is that good? How good should it? What is fun for you? Follow the fun, right? Follow the fun and and just lean into whatever's fun for you. Um, we can do a lift redeem. We can do a push-up redeem. Just uh, let this guy do the stalling. Let's let Norton Nassenborer do the stalling, not Pete. Let's see some push ups. Push ups. With me, guys. Oh, got some productive use of our time while it is being wasted. I'm going to open it when I have a thousand troops. Okay. Von Agarwal would like to know, what do you think of the new update? Lots of questions. Okay. Number one thing I like about the update, the dice switch back to blitz. Um, the slider defaults to full. The leaderboard is split. Now 1v1s cannot be considered the same thing as free-for-all because they are not the things I dislike about the update. The number underneath your name should be your rank. It's the main thing people care about. I would say my intuition tells me, and you guys can give me use of statistics and prove me wrong, um, that the percentage of the player base that plays 1v1s is somewhere around 10%, maybe 20 at the most. I think it's less. So we should cater to that audience proportionally to how much they play. 1v1s is a subset of risk. Every free-for-all game contains 1v1s within it. The inverse is not true. So 
we should care about a subset of the game as much as it is played by the population of players. Having a rank skill point number instead of a rank is confusing to new players and probably counterproductive for SMG because they want your rank to be an incentive to play. So I think SMG would be wise to fix that as soon as possible. That is the most important thing I have to say about the new update. Put a number underneath is progressive a subset of players? Oh yeah, Phil, Phil's of the opinion that um, there should be even more leaderboards. I think that would ultimately be too confusing, but I take your point, right? If it is the gimmicks that is the thing that ranks up, I, I don't like the idea that that three player is the way, the most efficient way you would rank up now, but it is what it is. Neo says, pink moved off cap and he's mad I'm not killing him. There was an easier way to incentivize action. If he wanted, he would move off cap here. Once I have a thousand troops, I'll open it. So next, next turn. And he's welcome to be as mad as he'd like. He can suicide. There's a more efficient way to suicide. You can quit, right? You can just quit. So that's not, that logic doesn't exactly hold. Good answer. I like Prague as well. Okay. So, um, Baron Toter would like to know, hi, Pete. How much has your worldview changed now that SMG is reciting the deaths, the, resetting the dice back to blitz after each turn? My worldview is not changed. I am grateful that they listen to us about anything. Really, very, very grateful. Seb98 would like to know, hey Pete, I started playing because of you, but although I feel like I have your main strategy solidified, two separate positions, make sure you get cards. I still haven't won games, oh, and 17 or something. I can identify the fish pretty well, I think, even though it seems like it's always me. I panic and I seem to go for kills a turn or two early. How can I advance my strategy and start to make the right moves and start to actually win? Okay, Seb. Check out my novice to grandmaster playlist where I take a fresh account playing progressive world dom all the way up to grandmaster. Let's end this game. Yeah, see, it's not enough, right? It's not enough. I told you it wasn't enough. Yes, well, at least now he's playing his turns quickly. No, he's not. All right, he's going to stay and fortify. All right, we've confirmed stalling. Oh, I don't get numbers. Play your turn, sir. Or quit. Why stalling? I mean, he's not playing. He's lost. <laughs> I don't see any game actions occurring. <laughs> uh, people love cabs, eh? but I can't win at the moment. Exactly. Neither can he. He keeps drawing out the clock intentionally. That is the definition of stalling. Oh, whatever. I'm sure they'll wait for me in the, uh, in the Legends game if I have to go through this a bit. Just on stream, going to win this game, player stalling. Might take a few minutes. Yeah, I'm watching. You're good. Thank you, Mamba. <laughs> and thank you, Rudolph. Yes, guys. Okay. He's had enough of my shit. <laughs> uh, this is funny. I'm watching too. Okay, cool. 
Hi guys, please don't watch while we're in the game. I know you're not going to, but just, uh, just for, for tournament integrity, we're not playing any fall games, so they can be streamable, but, um, you know, you don't want people knowing if you have cards and such, right? All right. Did we finish? I think that's where I'm going to end the Q and a portion of the show. I mean, I guess we can just keep going. Kind of also have to pee. Yeah, Seb, watch my novice GM playlist, and then we can talk more about the nitty gritty of when to time your kills in progressive. Um, you want to do it ideally on the sixth, seventh, and eighth turn. Okay. Sam would like to know, Pete, are you going to play France Caps fixed five minute true random manual fog once in a time? No, that sounds like the worst I've ever seen in my life. Worst settings I've ever heard. TTV so godlike would like to know, good afternoon. My question was, if absolute truth does not exist, absolute truth meaning truth that supersedes human opinion on what we subjectively think is right or wrong. Yep, I get it. I don't know if uh, the non-philosophy people in the, in the audience will get it, but uh, absolute truth um, in this context means objective reality is a better way to put it. Objective reality, right? So this is a metaphysical question as, as much as it is an epistemology question. Um, then why does doing right or good matter? Okay. If objective reality does not exist, why does being ethical, why would you be ethical is essentially the question. If it does exist, then which religion is right in regards to who gave us that truth? Thanks for risk content and super informative beginner guides. You're welcome. Um, so the implication that the, the, you see there's a, the, God is nested in the end of that question. The implication that because an objective reality exists, therefore God gave us ethics is the leap of faith in this question. Um, so I'll answer the first part. If absolute truth does not exist, if objective reality does not exist, why do ethics matter? The same way ethics matter if, they, if it does. This doesn't actually affect ethics as far as I understand it because I don't do the right thing for anybody else. I do the right thing for myself because of how um, being a virtuous person or my view, okay, remember, very important caveat, how my view of being a virtuous person affects how I feel about myself, right? I'm not going to, say, to sit here and tell you guys that I am a virtuous person because I'm absolutely not. I'm as flawed and broken as you are. Um, but... <laughs> oh, why do you stall me, sir? Why? Um, but doing the right thing matters for me because it affects who I am. Okay. Does that kind of make any sense? I hope it does. Um, then the second part of the question is if objective reality does exist, which religion is right in regards to who gave us that truth? Um, no religion is right in as much as every religion is right. So there is a spectrum of truth to the revelations of faith, and some of it will apply to you. And I don't pretend to know this truth, and I don't pretend to think I'm right. Um, and I try and pick and choose and take from it what makes sense to me. And I will be right back.
I don't get the world dom kill. I could stall him too, I suppose. Yeah. There you have it, ladies and gentlemen. Hope you all enjoyed this video. I hope you found some of it fun and entertaining, maybe even a little bit educational and informative. Clocking in in an hour and a half, we got a little bit of Q&A done. I do like these settings a whole lot. Uh, defeating three beginners, one intermediate, and one horrible staller. If you get Norton Nassenbohr in your game, make sure you don't give him second. Ladies and gentlemen, give him dead last. I hope you all enjoyed. Um, if you are interested in getting better at the game of Risk, I invite you to subscribe to my channel and come along the ride with me. I have a daily release schedule on YouTube and I stream on Twitch almost as often. You can check my page for the upcoming schedule. I'm currently on my mission to help grow Risk into its destiny. If you would like to support me, there's a number of ways you can join my Patreon. You can become a member of my YouTube and you can come on down to my Discord, click the notifications and get that notification for when I go live on Twitch and catch next stream. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you all so much for watching. And until next time, for all of you on the path to world domination, good games and good luck.